many say the EU Council President's visit to China is quite symbolic. Others say actually it is in fact very strategic at this time when the EU and Europe is struggling with its right approach toward China. What is your take? Well, I think, uh, as usual, the bilateral agenda between EU and China is about geoeconomics and about geopolitics. Geoeconomics is about trade, investment, the economy, growth, and the geopolitical agenda is about more political issues. And unfortunately, if I compare the situation today to what it was, let's say, 10 years ago, uh, geoeconomics are less important than geopolitics. And geopolitics are more about pensions and geoeconomics about cooperation. No, not that there is no cooperation. The trade and investment relationship between EU and China is working reasonably well, although the slowdown of the uh, Chinese economy uh, is having an impact on the bilateral relationship. So overall, we don't have that many trade tensions as compared to the past, where we always have had the sort of reciprocity problem. And I think uh, Charles Michel, the president of the European Council, will be talking first about geopolitics and second about geoeconomics. Mr. Lamy, recently you wrote an article in Foreign Affairs uh, talking about globalization. You said that deglobalization is not inevitable. So uh, what is your take about China-EU relations with this backdrop of the discussion uh, globalization vis-a-vis -vis deglobalization? This is a very good question because this is where the EU stance is different from the US one. Yeah. The US now have come to the conclusion that China is a threat for the US, that they need to address this threat and weaken China so that it's less of a threat for the US. And the way to do that is to try and deglobalize China because China has become stronger because of globalization. That's in a nutshell uh, the US uh, posture. The EU one is very different. The EU A does not feel the same way as the US in terms of China being a big threat. And B, we do not agree that even if we were to consider China as a threat, deglobalization is the way to go. Because we believe in Europe that a globalized China is better than a deglobalized China. So this is a rather fundamental difference. This being said, this being said, if you look at the high tech sector, the digital sector, you know, chips, uh, in artificial intelligence, uh, nanotechnologies, the EU is under a US pressure to limit its interaction with China in these high tech sectors. And this is an element where the EU will have to carefully navigate between the US on the one side and China on the other side. And that's roughly my take.